Hey guys, it's me Dave. It's uh, 4 12 2020. I thought I'd do a video. It's uh, Sunday night, so uh, I was just kind of sitting around and stuff and thinking about things and kind of, um, you know, um, just kind of doing whatever, relaxing and stuff mostly. But, uh, you know, I want to I wanna talk about something that's going around in the community that, um, you know, there's... Uh, uh, you know, some of these nonprofits are talking about doing a class action lawsuit and stuff like that. Um, they've been talking about it for years, you guys. Um, you know, they, they, you know, as another target said, they, these people want to keep you tuned in and keep in. They want to keep you coming back for more and more and more, whether it's information or if it's false hope or whatever. They want to keep you coming back for more information you know, or whatever, whatever it may be, you know, so are we chasing, you know, are we going down the rabbit hole and chasing the rabbit hole? You know, I think we are, um, you know, as far as a, a class action lawsuit, you know, like targeted justice is like, oh, we got 3000 people lined up for a class action lawsuit and collect all your evidence and all this stuff. Um, They've been saying that for years, you guys. Um, it's been two or three years they've been saying that. Um, who are they going to sue? They don't even have lawyers. They don't know who they're going to sue. They don't know anything. Um, it's it's false hope, you guys. You know, you're down in the rabbit hole. Um, you know, so, so I want to talk about evidence. Um, how important is evidence? You know, I w at the beginning of my program, I used to I used to film everything. Um, I used to film the gang stalkers, and I used to film uh, vehicular stalking and all this stuff. I would film. Um, you know, actually, I had some decent uh, evidence on a memory card um, when I was in the psych ward. You know, because my my family is involved in my program. Um, when I when I got out of the psych ward, I checked to see if my memory card was in. The, I I hid it, you know, in a safe place. I went to check that to see if that memory card was there. It was gone. Um, they they were in the house and they went through my stuff, and they took my memory card. I had some really good evidence on that memory card. Um, you know, we as targets are sensitized to certain uh, stimuli in our programs you know we're we're we're, sens we're we're sensitized to stimuli in our programs so you know to us we can tell that's a gang stalker that's across from you you know sitting across from you or they're following you or they do a cough or whatever we know that but to the untrained eye, they might not know that. They they just think it looks like a normal person. And they're just, you know, whatever. They're standing in line behind you and all this stuff. They're not perping you. They're doing the gangster cough and all this stuff, you know. To the untrained eye, that just looks like a normal person standing behind you. And you look paranoid, pretty much. You know, the whole program is set up to make us look paranoid. You know, so... Every little thing we do and we track and all this stuff and we're filming to the untrained eye, they don't see that because they're not, you know, they're not, uh, uh, oh, I forgot what I was just going to say. Um, you know, they're not tuned into that. You know what I mean? Um, I forgot what I was going to say. I'm sorry, you guys. You know, so to the average person, you know, they're not going to see what we see because we know that we're, we're reacting to certain stimuli and stuff like that. The untried eye, they don't see that. You know, they just see somebody standing in line and all this stuff. So are we in the rabbit hole, chasing the rabbit hole, um, you know, down in the rabbit hole or whatever? Um, I think we are. Um, you know, even if you had a team of lawyers um, willing to take on our cases and, 
you know, you gave them all your evidence and all this stuff. Um, it's a real difficult situation. Um, they're not going to see what you see. They're not going to understand what you are going through. And who, you, who are you going to sue? Are you going to sue the CIA? Are you going to sue the government? You know, who in government are you going to sue? Um, and will it guarantee your targeting is going to stop? Probably not. I don't think your targeting will stop. You know, so I think we're wasting our time. You know, you got these nonprofits that are putting all this work and, you know, time and effort into trying to get a class action lawsuit and all this stuff. I think it's a waste of time. It's not going to do anything or anything, you know. My angle is um, we got to get to Congress somehow. You know, I you know some of these nonprofits are like, oh, we did this years ago. We did, we you know we did this. Nobody listened to us. We did this. Uh. Well, one thing is you can't give up. You have to keep on trying. You know, you have to keep on trying. You can't give up. You know, you can't be a quitter. Um, like some of these nonprofits. Oh, we did this. We did this years ago. And, oh, we you know nobody listened to us and all this stuff. You know, we have to keep on trying. What we need is a con congressional hearing somehow. We got to get a congressional hearing somehow where real victims of this program can go in, in front of Congress and tell their stories. That's what we need. You know, and I'll go back to what I was saying before on a couple videos back. It doesn't matter if you're well-spoken. It doesn't matter if you're a professional or you're a truck driver. It doesn't matter. If you're a real victim of this, Congress needs to hear your story and how you lost everything and how they turn your family against you and how they're doing all these things to you. We need to try to figure out a way how to get in, in front of Congress. I know they're not listening to us, you know, they're not listening to us, but we have to keep on trying. That's the only way this is going to come out. Um, if you had somebody that would go after these people, um, that wasn't afraid. Um, do I think they're all involved? I think a lot of them are involved. You know, I think the president's involved. I think he's a puppet. You know, he acts like he's not a puppet. But he is a puppet. Um, when I wrote to him, they sent my email to a mental health place to seek out mental health. Um, they're involved. You know, they got deep state people everywhere in his administration and everywhere. Um, you know, so, you know, I don't think a lawsuit is going to do anything. I think it's a waste of time. I think it's going in the wrong direction and stuff like that we need to try to figure out how to get a congressional hearing somehow and just like dr duncan said um you know the only way this is really going to stop is if we had like a nuremberg trial type thing and then maybe it would stop and these people would be held accountable that's what we need to do um you know uh, you know, and as far as collecting evidence and all this stuff, um, this is so hard to prove, you guys. Um, a lot of uh, a lot of our testimony is the same. It's a little different here and there in different programs and stuff like that. You know, they do that on purpose where it's a little different and all this stuff. But I tell you one thing, we've all been sexually assaulted. Um, some of the skits are the same. Um, we can describe remote neuro monitoring us. We can be out in the community and you can be passing somebody and they may say something about your life, you know, and stuff like that, you know. So a lot of that stuff is the same that we can talk about. You know, so these these leaders that are saying, that, well, you need all kinds of evidence and you need, you know, you need to wear a $500 suit and you need this and that, da, da, da. 
that's not true, you guys. You don't need that. We are real victims of this crime. And they should listen to us. You know, we're, we're telling the truth. What are we trying to gain? What's, what's the gain? The only gain is that they stop our program. We're not trying, what are we, you know, we're trying to get rich off. We're not trying to get rich off this. You know, we're not trying to do, what, what, what is the purpose for us complaining about this? You know, wh why are we complaining about this? What do we have to gain? And see, the, the, the leaders, which a lot of them are fake, a lot of them are fake, you guys. They'll sit there and tell you that, you know, oh, you need all this evidence. You need so much evidence to go anywhere at all. That's not true. I've seen testimony on YouTube of real testimony to Congress of MK Ultra victims. They had nothing but what they put on paper. They didn't have all kinds of evidence and all this stuff. They told the truth and that was good enough. You know, and that's what we're doing. And that's what we need to do is tell the truth. That's our testimony. And, you know, like I said, the leaders don't think that's enough. You know, why do they don't think that's enough? Because they want to keep on, you know, they want they want to dis, you know, uh, send you in a different direction. You know, thinking, oh, you know, telling you that you need all this evidence. You need this. You need that. Nobody's going to help you. That's not true, you guys. If we could get a congressional hearing somehow, our testimony on paper would be good enough. We would be able to explain in, in graphic detail what these people are doing to us. We don't need all this evidence. We don't need pictures of gang stalkers and all this stuff. If you had a good amount of people, a good group of people, you know, where there was, I don't know, quite a bit of us, a thousand of us at least, um, testifying in front of Congress where our stories are similar you know, that would be enough for these guys to actually try to do something and try to stop these programs. So as far as collecting evidence, I don't think, I think that's kind of a, a fraud. You know, I don't, I don't think we need to collect all this evidence. Um, what we need to do is focus on trying to get in a congressional hearing. We need to try to find somebody that will listen to us. And we need to keep on trying. We need to keep on we need to keep on knocking on their door until they listen to us. Whether it takes a hundred times or two hundred times or fifty times or twenty times or whatever it takes. That's what we need to do. So as far as collecting evidence and all that stuff, I don't think that's gonna do us any good. You know, these um nonprofits don't know what they're talking about, to be honest. Uh, they've been talking about the same thing for two or three years and they haven't done anything. They haven't done anything. You know, uh, you know, they're still talking about it. We got a class action. We got 3,000 people and, oh, they're sending us their evidence and all this stuff. Uh, you know, it's like, you're just like me. You're regular people. You don't have any special powers or any secret powers or anything like that. What are you going to do with people's evidence? Just because you have a name on your nonprofit doesn't make you any more powerful than me. You know, I'm an average guy, blue collar, blue collar worker. I was. And um, what makes you, why would they listen to you and not listen to me? You know, what do I have to gain? from telling my story, you know, you know what I mean? Um, so that's kind of what I want to say tonight. Um, you know, how, how important is evidence? I don't think it's very important. Um, I used to do it at the beginning of my program. I used to film everything and all this stuff. And to me, it looks like gang stalkers and all this stuff. But to the average person, they're looking at it like, I don't see anything here. You know what I mean? So what I mean, I just thought I would do a little video and talk about that a little bit. Um, 
you know, we need to try to get in front of Congress and tell our story. Um, you know, we're not making this up. Why would we make this up? You know, it doesn't make any sense. And don't listen to some of these leaders, you guys. They're perps. They're known, they're known perps. And they want to control the community. And they want to keep this going as long as they can. They kept it going for 10 years. These people haven't got anywhere in 10 years. You know? So, you know, it just... Do your research, you guys. On Do your research on some of these leaders and stuff like that, too. Um, you know, we, we need to vet these people. Um, where where they come from? What do they do? How do they make their living? None of them work. How do they make their living? Where are they getting money from? And all this stuff. You know, you have to ask the you have to ask yourself those questions. You know, where are these people getting their money? They don't have a none of them have a job. You know, where are they getting their money? You know, you have to ask yourself that. And uh, and stuff. So I better cut this off. But, you know, because I, I want this to end. And we need to try to figure out how, how to end this for real um, and stuff. But my dogs are barking. I got to cut this off. And I'll talk to you guys later.